everybody, I'm Pratima and this is the Apple Vision Pro, Apple's latest mixed reality headset or special computing headset as Apple likes to call it. I have been using this thing for almost a week now and I have to say that my experience with it has been unlike any other. Now, I am someone who has had my share of experiences with VR headsets before but this one really stands out for me. Why? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let me take you through it. First of all, the build quality on this thing is amazing. It's amazingly high-end and not just the headset, but everything that you get inside the box has amazingly premium, like high-end quality. Now, of course, it's Apple, so we kind of expected that. And we also have to remember that the price of this thing is as premium as premium can get. It's $3,500 just for the base variant. And actually, I think it's safe to say that this is the most expensive gadget gadget I own on today's day. Yeah, literally it is. So once you open up the box, you're greeted with the headset itself. Uh, let me show you first of all. So I already have unboxed this, but I just want to show how things are to you guys. So here it is. So you get the headset right here, which I've already taken out, obviously. And then you also get a couple of other essentials, which already I have it. Uh, you get this battery pack because this one does not have an inbuilt battery inside and you have to keep it wired and then you get this cover for protection of the front glass and then we have this solo knit band and um, I actually tried this on but this one was more comfortable because it keeps the headset in place from the top as well as the side so I use that but apart from that we also get a lot of other stuff here including this very nice quality booklet that has a lot of pictures in it. Besides this, we also get a polishing cloth. And finally, we get a charger inside Apple's box. Um, I guess when you pay $3,500, a charger is a must. 30 watt charger that you get inside the box along with this um, a cable that is Type-C to Type-C. It's a braided cable. And at the same time, you also get a cushion right here. This is slightly thicker than the one you get. Uh, on the Vision Pro. Alright, so by now you might have already watched a couple of uh, dozen videos on the Apple Vision Pro, but um, let me go through it once again, my style. So here you get the headset and this, the entire thing is made of glass. It's covered with plastic, which gets scratched very easily, but the plastic is there to protect the glass. And then you get a aluminium uh, build everything is made of aluminium solid and this thing weighs around uh, 600 grams so it's pretty heavy at least it was for me now everything here attaches magnetically the light shield comes off the cushion also comes off like this and as you can see I have used it for a very long time and it's gotten very dirty but never mind the inside of it looks like this kind of looks like binoculars but never mind we have a crown here it's a digital crown and we have a different button right here and as i said the build quality is extremely amazing all right the first thing you have to know about it is that you control it with your eyes so you have to set up your eyesight and everything first of all don't forget to connect the battery because this thing does not run on its own so here it's it's pretty easy you just do this and then it just latches on and it's very, very sturdy, so it just does not come off. All right, so once you get in, the first thing you have to do is uh, set up your eyes, your hands, and uh, set up your persona, which is one of my favorite things. So this is what the home screen looks like, and you, see, and you can see that everything just looks very crisp. As I already said, you control it with your eyes, so wherever you look, that thing gets selected, and you can just select it with a pinch, and everything is just right there. You can see the photos and everything, and Things look very crisp and you can see it's very responsive as well. Of course, Apple has had to use two chipsets to make this possible. First of all, there is the M2 chip, which we all know that the MacBooks had. And then there's the R1 chip, which is specifically kept here to reduce delay. So what the R1 chip does is that it takes the input from the microphones, the cameras and the sensors and then streams videos like this. It's very responsive. Apple says that uh, the delay is as low as 12 milliseconds and you can see uh, when you're using it just like this, 
like general usage everything is very responsive as soon as i pinch and swipe everything just is working very well so very impressive uh, so i've also had the chance to use the meta quest 3 and things don't look as sharp on it like the vision pro so i'm very very impressed with the picture quality and by the way this is what the keyboard looks like uh, you can adjust where you want to keep the keyboard and uh, you can type in two ways you can either do this and it only supports two finger input right now or you can just look at the letter and just pinch youtube.com anyway i am just i've become comfortable in both the ways but when you use it oh one of my videos is also here so anyways you oh my god everything looks so nice and crisp so what you can do is you can adjust your field of view according to what you like uh, you can make it as big and as small as you can as you want to this is how you zoom in and zoom out and i think i like this this better yes so okay let's play one of video by mkbhd who has been posting a lot oh oh hi hi same same <laughs> Yes, exactly. It is far from flawless, but it's kind of, it's very interesting to use this thing. I can't explain and I don't know if you guys can see uh, these things as with as much clarity as I can, but it's, it's really, really good. So one of the other things that I've loved, loved experiencing is this Encounter Dinosaur app. This is the only one that Apple has in its store right now, but when I mean others come out it's going to be very very good start hi butterfly oh thank you so i don't know if you can see but i have a butterfly sitting on my finger bye went right through oh and then this world opens up it is wow it looks so crisp the visuals are amazing and the kind of 3d effect it has it feels like it's just right you're just right in there I wish the field of view was um, slightly wider though. It would have been such a great experience then, but never mind. Oh, hi, tiny dinosaur. We've met before. Nice. I've probably seen this. Hi, dinosaur. Hi. <gasps> come, come. <gasps> hi, hi, hi. <gasps> hey, hey. And it even lets you interact with it. It's, it's, very very intuitive i love it look at the crispness it just comes out of the screen and oh my god hi hi somebody else is here i love that it just comes out of the screen and looks so surreal i wish the edges were um, rendered properly but i don't mind this is a first gen product i don't mind at all all right so one of my favorite things to do on the apple vision pro is playing games uh, there aren't a lot of games in Apple's library that give you a full immersive experience, but there are a few and those are very, very interesting. I love this game, which is called uh, Synth Riders. And that one feels so amazing, especially because of the speakers too. The speakers sound really great on the Apple Vision Pro. I'm not being, oh, here it is. Synth Riders. Um, if you have subscription to Apple's Arcade, you are going to have a lot more fun on the Vision Pro. Start. Okay. So let's play the game. Alright, so the game has started and if you look around, although to a normal person, I might look crazy. But it's so much fun playing this game. Oh my god. And I love the sound. It sounds amazing. Here. The visuals are crisp, sharp, and everything just looks so awesome in here. I cannot explain. This is an experience like nothing else. Nothing else at all. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to stop, but if you just look around, everything looks so, so damn good. All right, anyways, let's, let's get out of this game. All right, so gaming was a very, very good immersive experience on the Vision Pro, but at the same time, I think um, I've also tried the MetaQuest 3 and I've tried some first-person shooter games, and the 
experience on it is a little bit different and more immersive i would say because of the controllers you can play first shooter games first person shooter games in such an immersive manner here it's not the same but maybe apple will bring out something or the other in the future to tackle that uh, we don't know but right now i am impressed with the immersiveness in games i really am i'm not just playing games but you have a few educational apps as well i downloaded them from the arcade itself and these will give you some really good information. I love one of the apps called um, Jigspace. It just shows you an anatomy of everything and it explains uh, what it is. For example, if you want to know the components that are used on an aircraft. So you can see, you can see, okay, okay, I'll place my jig right here and here it is. You can rotate it like this here. It shows you how the engine starts right here and then what you can also do is just a second you can also remove individual parts like this you can see how great this is you can zoom it in you can go inside and look at the components like this or you can just rotate it to see what all is there you can even take off the wind oh my god this is awesome imagine students being able to see this this is just amazing when it comes to education you can just you can see every part for medical students if you want to learn how the heart works let me just place the human heart right here this is the human heart okay right here in front of my eyes a human heart and it also explains, right here is the explanation. Okay, so uh, the procedure to open these narrowed arteries is known as angioplasty, blah, blah, blah. You can see what this is. And it just gives you all the information. Look at this. Oh my God, this is amazing. So here's the heart. You can separate the individual veins and arteries as well. Here, here are the veins and arteries. Uh, veins, arteries. This is the heart. For educational purposes, man, this thing is just revolutionary and this is just does not like limit itself to, um, I don't know, spacecrafts or heart, but it could be anything. Okay, so I'm somebody who has had an immense interest in the working of the universe and this app, this app called Pace Vision. Oh my God, this is one of my favorite apps. I just want to show you this one real quick. I wanted to take you to an immersive experience and here... I am in space, everybody. I have the solar system right in front of me. This is Earth. This tiny thing is Earth and there is the moon. There is the sun. You can, you can pull it towards you if you want to have a closer look. There is Mercury, Venus. Where is Mars? Oh. Oh my God. Jupiter right there. Oh my God. Just look at the universe. It looks so amazing it's so freaking amazing you see everywhere and talking about coming back to reality you have a lot of environments that apple has like custom made right here for example one of my favorite favorite ones is going to the moon this is what the moon looks like okay so this is only half immersive but if you want to be inside of the moon completely you just turn this crown right here and if you look around you're in moon sadly you cannot walk on the moon but you can see what the moon looks like what the space looks like oh my god this is amazing and apple has a couple of other environments for you guys this is one of my favorites but um whenever i want to work or immerse myself into working i like going to this space which is basically a lake in front of a mountain and i like to work here and if you just turn the crown like this, you're in front of a lake. It's so serene. It's so peaceful. You also get a lot of ambient sound and everything just looks so awesome. You can get it in a day view as well as a night view as well. And this just looks so nice. You can see your hands right here. You can't see your body though, but everything looks very crisp and almost real, I would say. Okay, so you can also connect your MacBook to the Apple Vision Pro and work on a bigger screen. This is one of my favorite things that I have been doing lately. So whenever your MacBook is just in front of you, this a little connect button, just 
comes up and then it mirrors your MacBook on a bigger screen. As you can see, you can just pinch in to zoom in and out from the corner or just manage your field of view and you can use your laptop on a bigger screen like this. So I can have this tab right here, go to Safari and have a YouTube video playing side by side. YouTube. Right, there it is, there I am on a different Apple Vision Pro a video. So I can have YouTube going on right here. I can do my work on, on my MacBook right here. Although you have to remember that if you want to use your keyboard, you will have to have your surroundings this way. Otherwise, if you are in an immersive space like this, like this, you will not be able to see your keyboard. So it's basically just a guessing game. So I like doing this. And then I can type, I can browse my MacBook on a bigger screen. I can also edit videos, which is just awesome. Imagine having a video, ha editing your video like this on such a bigger screen. You can fit so much. And then I can have a lot of tabs open. Just I, I could be browsing through my photos at the same time, just like this. All right, so here. Are my photos I could be doing anything or anywhere I, I, I just I could do this browse through my photos look at my memories everything right here a very huge digital immersive space workspace right in front of me and this is the best thing for a workaholic person like me I am not kidding all right, so what I'm going to do now is just move around a little bit. I'll leave all my tabs right here, as you can see on the screen. And then I am going to move around a little bit just to give you an idea what it's like walking around with the Apple Vision Pro. By the way, this is our cat who has been five people on, in the office today. And now he's just tired and he's sleeping. He's just getting his beauty rest. Okay, so... So this is what it looks like. Okay, and this is our studio, by the way. This is where we shoot most of our videos. We also have a different studio downstairs. But this is what the world looks like. Kind of, it looks a little bit grainy and kind of in 720p. But it doesn't look abnormal is what I would like to say. You can see my tabs right there. And let's check a little bit of responsiveness. I don't feel it. I don't feel a lot of like jerkiness and everything. It feels normal. I am going to try if I can hit that ball right there and yes okay so not bad okay I just feel if everything just looks very normal and feels very normal there is no delay in the response time of anything so when I'm looking through it, uh, it doesn't feel very shaky, but when you're looking at it, it might feel a little bit shaky in the screen recording videos and everything because I'm moving my head back and forth. To me, everything just looks as normal as normal can be. All right, so now I am going to try FaceTiming somebody because the last time I did it, people told me that I looked a bit weird, but I didn't get to see what I looked like. So I'm just going to FaceTime Okay, going to keep it right here so that you guys can have a clear view. Okay, optical sensor right there. Oh, hello. Hello, you look like yourself, but how do I look like? Is there a way of... see for yourself? Okay, oh, this is the... <laughs> Oh my god, I look like a um, 3D avatar of myself. Nice. It captures smiles and eye movement. Oh, the eyes are very accurate. Oh, nice. I like it. Good enough. Oh, if I turn back, I look like a ghost. But on the front, it's all right. This thing is still in... This thing is still in beta, which is probably why I look like that. I really hope that Apple refines it more because it's really cool. In my opinion, it's just very, very cool. All right, so um, I showed you how you can see the human heart and everything. But if you're someone who's interested in Formula One racing, then you can also 
see a 3D model of the car. This is the Alfa Romeo C43 and you can see this is such an incredible sight right in front of me. Not just this, you can also see how it works. Okay, so all this is possible because Apple has put in a lot of cameras and sensors on this thing. So uh, there is like two high resolution cameras facing towards the world and there are other six cameras that are facing outside and there are four cameras that are tracking your eye movement. At the same time, there are a lot of sensors. You get an optical sensor for optical ID and at the same time, there is an ambient light sensor. There's Apple's LiDAR sensor. So a lot of work put into making the world seem as it is and this is just amazing i am going to keep my 3d model of the alfa romeo c43 right here and oh my god look at that our entire office is living in their own virtual reality he is actually using the meta quest 3 and um since we're talking <laughs> Since we're talking about the Meta Quest 3, gaming is something that I think the Quest 3 did better because you can use the controllers and playing first shooter games is so much more fun. Um, on the Apple Vision Pro, I didn't quite find a lot of first shooter games, which is first person shooter games, which is one of my favorite kind of games. And that one does really better. I think he is, I don't know, playing a dance game or so. Oh my God, that's weird. That's weird. I, is that what I look like when I use the <laughs> Apple Vision Pro? I don't know, but the world is changing everybody and there's nothing we can do, it, do to stop it. All right, so when you're moving down the stairs, there's this definite wobble that you can feel on your face. So you can see that things are pretty responsive as they come. It's not a difficult thing for us. It just, everything just feels normal. It doesn't feel like, you know, there's something on your face. Everything is responsive. Everything is crisp and clear. All right, so we've come downstairs and this is what the world looks like from the Apple Vision Pro. You can come out in the brightest of lighting possible and still everything looks good and crisp, actually. Uh, let me open up something here and just pin it somewhere so that when I come back, that will be there, I guess. So let's move around a little bit. I don't feel anything strange or weird, but people who walk around might feel that way. Everything just looks very nice and pleasant. And you can look at the sun directly now, if nothing else. Okay, let's, 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 let's go. I had, I think a tab open right there at the gate let's see if it's still on because i'm quite far away right now i don't know if it's still there it's so much fun people's look towards me is so much fun so i definitely <laughs> turned some heads oh my tab is still there i can pull it towards me <gasps> right here man okay my tab is right here so i love it I love the things that you can do. You can just put it in front of you. I, I don't recommend you do so because I'm on the road right now, but you can just take it and go anywhere. Just be, around, just be aware of your surroundings, everybody. I'm going to close this. Let's go back inside. I've scared a lot of people today. Let's go. So I have returned. Everybody, are my, are my tabs still here? I'm not sure. Oh, my safari tab is still here. Good, good to know. So my safari tab is here. Oh, the other things are also here. Nice. Okay. It, it is not in the arrangement that I left it before for some reason. I don't know because maybe I went very, very far. But everything that I had opened before was here except my MacBook got disconnected. Everything else, all the native apps from the Vision Pro right here so i like it you also get cameras here by the way you can shoot from cameras if you press this button it brings out the cameras okay smile everybody okay so this is the sample of a photo and you can also shoot a video so just press this button the aspect ratio is more like square square ish but this is the kind of videos you can expect from the Apple Vision Pro. So if you're walking, if you see something nice, just press this button. It will open 
up the camera and start recording. All right, everybody. So with this, we've come to almost the end of our video and my experience has been very, very good. Let me check the battery status. Okay, we have, oh, we still have 33% battery. We started from 100% and it's been more than two hours, I think, that we've uh, been shooting this video. And 33% is not bad. So depending on your usage, you can get around two hours or a little bit more of battery life. Not bad, not bad at all. So my final verdict about the, oh my God, oh, everything is so bright. Oh my, it definitely does mess up your hair. I can feel it. But I don't know how I'm looking, but usually when I take it off, I, it just leaves, more marks on my face and this this acne is because of the vision pro by the way one of the side effects that nobody talks about so yes it mess, messes up your hair and a little bit of your skin i don't know what kind of implications this will have in the long run but to me this is something that's really interesting to use i will not say otherwise but at the same time i wish it was more comfortable it is 600 grams on your face and it can be very daunting after like two hours or three hours of con continuous usage i don't know if other people have felt this way but I definitely have and the marks on my face definitely show the same so there is that uh, but other than that a very interesting intuitive gadget that Apple has brought out I love the experience even though it's not very comfortable for me I love wearing it I love experiencing it I love the uh, the the implementations that can come with it for example I was just yesterday I was thinking about uh, what could be the implications of the vision pro and one of the things that I could think of was um, Maybe you could in the future like attend a concert, a Taylor Swift concert sitting right in your living room at the pleasures of your living room. Maybe you can watch uh, cricket matches or football matches that are happening. Uh, and you know, you, you, if you can just be there in a very immersive way, you can, you can maybe watch Virat Kohli up close when he's batting, you know, that would be so much amazing. The Apple Vision Pro can also have other implications for health system. For instance, a surgeon who's sitting at home wearing the Apple Vision Pro may be able to, I don't know, operate a robotic arm at a hospital. The surgeon will be able to see all the nitty gritty details through virtual reality from the Apple Vision Pro and operate a robotic arm and do a surgery or something that would be so cool and not just that there'll be so many implications and as I said I think I said it in the beginning that the possibilities are endless unlimited it's just a first-gen product so I will give it the benefit of doubt and um, it's very expensive it's not available for the masses but when the price goes down this thing I think can do wonders and I'm very excited to see what the second generation of this product will be. Uh, first gen, I am in love with it, but second gen, I think it'll be more uh, intuitive. I think the field of view will be wider and if that is the case, virtual reality might get mixed with the actual reality and it's going to be so awesome. So that was my, um, I don't know, two cents about the Apple Vision Pro. I love this product. I don't know what you guys think about it. Do let me know in the comments below. Till then, I'm Prathima Adhikari. I'll see you in the next video.